St. Gobain is providing custom disposables and custom systems for cell therapy manufacturing. And really our entryway into this space was through a company called American Forest Seal Corporation, which gave us um, this product, which is the View Life bag. It looks pretty unspectacular from far away, but um, it really does excel at the, at the art of culturing cells outside the body. And there's a couple reasons for that. One, it really provides a habitat for cells outside the body. So cells are living. I mean, they are what the living part of us. Um, so they need to breathe. And this cell, it, this bag is permeable to oxygen. And they also need to exhale. Um, and it's also permeable to carbon dioxide. So those are very two important things to be permeable to, to allow the cells to be able to breathe in and out through the bag. The thing that it's not permeable to is water. And because the cell culture medium that the cells are sitting in and feeding off of is mostly water, that's also important because you don't want your cells to become dehydrated. Your body is mostly water as well. You're trying to create an environment um, that is a lot like your body. The material is also important. So take immune cells. Your immune cells are taught to fight foreign substances. So what do you think they're gonna do when they're outside of the body? They're gonna try to fight whatever they're in. And so this material of this bag, which is a fluoropolymer, has really excelled at being this safe haven for cells outside the body. And the fact that it doesn't activate the cells, it doesn't generate an immune response. So you can focus on activating the immune cells in the way you want to versus having them activated against your bag. The last thing that usually happens in a cell therapy culture is because these cultures are being made in a lab, probably away from the patient, away from the hospital, they need to be transported back. And often in many cell therapies um, in, that are in clinical trials, this is done by bringing them down to a very, very low temperature, actually cryogenic temperatures, which is about minus 196 C, um, so that it freezes the cells in place. So it's basically stopping them in their tracks. They're not allowed to grow anymore. They're not allowed to change anymore. And it allows that time to be brought back to the patient and reinfused. So these bags can actually be brought down to that temperature and remain flexible. So you're not concerned that they're gonna shatter like some other plastics um, would do at that temperature. And you also don't need to change what bag you are using from culturing um, to transportation. So also a really neat feature. So it's a really exciting time to be part of the St. Cobain Performance Plastics family and, and even more to help this industry get to a point where we can offer alternative therapies for cancers and other diseases and to give people more options.